Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road with Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Draft Day Sports College Basketball, and I'm starting to do things a little bit different, a little change to the channel. Some of the games are going to frequent a little more often than before some a little less often. I'm still playing 10 games. I'm still trying to master 10 games, but now I'm going to start focusing more on certain games. And at least for right now, this is one of the games that's going to get a little more love, a little more attention. So uh, instead of going week by week, since there are going to be bonus episodes here and there, technically this is actually one of those bonus episodes. You're going to get two draft day college basketball episodes this week. I'm now going to go simply by episode number. Uh, and if you've been tracking, we've had one episode every single week through all of year one, which was 55 weeks. And then we had one last week. Uh, I had titled that year two week one, uh, but I've since renamed that episode 56. And we are now on episode 57. And tomorrow you get that bonus well, today's a bonus. Tomorrow you get a regularly scheduled episode, which will be episode 58. So today, episode 57. Hey, let's get to it. So uh, this is going to be an off-season special. Uh, we're going to go through and get some recruiting done, as we had no recruiting last year. Uh, we had a very, very young team. That team has aged a bit. We've got a lot of upperclassmen now, and we're going to definitely have some replacing to do. Before we get into it, though... Uh, let's see what it is we need to replace. Uh, let's go with a position-by-position position breakdown. I know that I'm going to have four scholarships available for next year, but what positions do I need to fill? Uh, well, looking at point guard right off the bat, we've got three uh, on roster, and they're all upperclassmen. Two of them are seniors. One of those a walk-on. So I absolutely uh, need a point guard. That is going to be essential. Uh, cannot go without one. Uh, I've got three shooting guards right now. And they are spread out. Senior, junior, and sophomore. All on scholarship. And with the aging up. With Waltman going out, I'll have Jenkins and Hill. Uh, as seniors and juniors next year, which means I definitely need a freshman coming in. So not as important, but pretty dang close. Uh, we need a shooting guard as well. All right, on to small forward. Again, I have three, which is that perfect balance that I love. Uh, I do not have anyone that is aging out, uh, as I have Swift, Milton, and Monroe. Uh, but I could use a small forward uh, as they're all going to be upperclassmen next year and I'll be losing two the year after. It would be nice to have one uh, to redshirt this season and then come in as a redshirt freshman once these two uh, age out that following year uh, to sit behind Chris Monroe. And there's a good chance, as good as Monroe is, uh, that Monroe could leave early uh, and enter the draft. Uh, so, could use a small forward, but not essential. Uh, and certainly not one of the players that I'm losing. Uh, on to power forward. Again, three. I've got a perfectly balanced roster right now with three at every position. That is certainly nice. Uh, I have two on scholarship here, one walk-on. And again, I'm in that same boat of senior, junior, sophomore. Uh, Eisenhower is the senior that is outgoing. Uh, Steele will be a senior next year, and Jenkins, as a walk-on, is a sophomore. So I, uh, it's another one that's essential. I need a power forward, uh, not quite as desperately as a point guard, but uh, pretty freaking close. Uh, senior, <laughs> uh, center, I mean. Uh, I guess we're slightly better here with uh, Fitz is outgoing, Petty will be a senior next year, and at least Lewis is a redshirt freshman. The only freshman I have right now on the roster at all. Uh, so I could survive with Petty and Lewis, depending on how Lewis is. I suppose I, I didn't want to jump in and see how players are looking. 
but let's see how is Lewis. Four and a half star potential, two and a half right now. He could. Uh, he, he'll be just fine. So I actually think it's center that I will survive without next year. Uh, while I would rather take a, a small forward over a center right now, and then I'll take a center of the year after, uh, maybe two. Or just two each of the next two years, uh, or one each of the next two years, I mean. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's how we're looking on that. Uh, also, Swift is going to age out as well, the walk-on, and that's going to mean we're going to have another incoming uh, walk-on, and it could end up being a center, for all we know, uh, as they tend to fill a need. So it could be another point guard, it could be another center, uh, but if I get my needs, if I get a point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and no center, I could very well see him ending up 50-50 in either of those two positions. Uh, and unlikely that we would take on someone else. All right, uh, not getting into any more ratings beyond that. Let's jump into recruiting now, as that's what we're here for with this episode. Uh, we are moving on to Conference H, by the way, and you can see just how high up that list uh, we now are. That is the eighth conference uh, as it drops all the way down to Conference V, which is where we started, so we have moved up along long long ways uh, but we still got a ways to go uh, especially when you consider that uh, we've only had one sweet 16 appearance uh, up until now we are getting to the tournament almost yearly now but uh, we have not gotten terribly deep into that tournament just yet so there's a long ways to go uh, we're going to go ahead and open things up, and we're going to remove... Uh, I'm not going to remove center just yet, actually. Uh, we're going to take off the you're watching, though. We'll get all the recruits, and then we are going to limit it to just the west. There we go. Uh, so these are all the western recruits. Da -da -da -da. It's amazing how much these uh, shortcuts help. All right, uh, so it looks like the number one recruit in the nation, and this is why I left center on for now, uh, Miles. Uh, we'll add him to our list, and we're going to offer him a scholarship here from day one. Uh, we'll get a lay of the land on this guy and if he's out of our league as he probably will be uh, number one recruit in the nation is almost certainly going to look for school's prestige and conference prestige uh, they'll probably both be on very very high if that is the case then we remove him and we move on but come on number one recruit in the nation y you take your chances on that uh, you never know when you're actually gonna uh, land one especially when i'm a good recruiter uh, so from there on out we'll uh start going with these other guys and we'll see how far down the list center yeah we're still at 23 so i'll take harry in as well uh, technically i do need a center but i will not put many of them on the list But this is so much easier than the way that I filtered in the past. Uh, I should have seen this filter ages ago. And technically, I could start recruiting nationally, but I'm not quite there yet. Okay, how far down are we? 84, uh, still third center on the list. 17th overall. Let's see, 2.7 GPA. Oh, junior college. Okay, uh, you know, I'll, I'll put him on the list, but he might be the last center that gets on the list. Possibly. Uh, here's another ju junior college transfer, and he's a 2.1 GPA. We are going to let that one go. All 
Alright, now I'm going to start keeping an eye on things like GPA. Actually, that's something I should have done earlier. Uh, but these guys that are struggling uh, under two and a half are not going to make it on the list. We need somebody who's actually going to qualify for the school. Mark Jones, another center. Yes, he's a 2.8, but I'm not going to take him. I think we're done with centers now. Said we're done with centers. Well, okay, Art Roads is where I've left off at the moment. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take centers off the list. And then we're going to make a quick glance up here like Dennis is gone. He's got a 1.8 GPA. That kid's absolutely going to junior college. Uh, let's see, 1.8. Yeah, we got him off. Here's a 2.4. This kid might, might make it. Uh, he's from Washington. So he's a little bit cheaper to recruit, but he's not Oregon cheap. So let's go ahead and remove him as well. And here, uh, 2.5 is kind of the minimum that I'm looking for here. So, uh, oh, we haven't even gotten to this guy yet. Uh, so where is, let's update. Okay, and where did we leave off? It was Art something. Art, was it Miles? Nope, that's Antoine. Lost track of our guy here. Why? Oh, it's bringing everybody up, of course. Roads. There it is, Art Roads. That's what I left off with. Okay, Burks, no. He was a 2.1. Alright, from here I just need to start watching. Uh, first GPA. Centers should not be showing up, so that part's already taken care of. And let's see, we're at 181 right now overall. I tend to only track the top 250. Too low. GPA that is. 4.0 is certainly nice. We'll take one of those. Also take a 2.6, uh, 3.6 I mean. Ooh, 2.4. That's uh, too low. 241, 247. This might be the last guy on the list. Uh, unless it's a point guard. Because I desperately need a point guard. Let's take the next point guard as well, just in case. See what we got. 304. Yeah, he's just 11th on the list. Okay, I'll add him in as well. Uh, that's Harmon. Harmon, Harmon, Harmon. Uh, about any Oregon recruits nearby? Anybody? Anybody down here? This guy's from Oregon. What is he? 387. Give him a look, uh, as these are the cheapest to go after recruiting-wise. From the Dells. I go there often, but it's actually been a little while. More than a year since I've been down in the Dells. Okay, here's another Oregon. Good GPA. Not a great rank, but you never know. He could be a diamond in the rough, so we will add him to the list. And we're going to call that good for now. So now let's take a look at our list. Let's go with a uh, call list. There we go. Okay. Not a terribly big list. And let's see if I've missed anything GPA wise. There's a 2.5. Okay. So virtually everybody here should qualify. Uh, and we don't have the number one recruit. Didn't I? Oh, oh, right, right, right. There we go. 
Got centers checked off still. There's everybody. Okay. And I don't actually even need. Uh, uh, da -da -da -da. Let's go back to national. Uh, you know, one thing I've never done actually is check international. Uh, ever. And I'm curious. It's probably. Super expensive to try to recruit someone internationally. But let's just kind of give it a shot. This guy from England, Darren Watson. Uh, he is the number six power forward in the country. Uh, I'll put him on my list and just kind of see. Uh, test run here. Okay, so back to national. There we go. Ooh, just to see him, I'm going to have to click back and forth, aren't I? He's not going to show up, I don't think. No, I don't see him on the list. Ooh, so... I might stay away from international still for now until I get to uh, myself being kind of a national brand. So we got one JC guy uh, who is a center, and that's it. Everybody else is a freshman coming in, high school senior for now. Okay, so here's Miles. That's the first guy we're going to put our calls in, and of course none of them like me yet, but here comes that strength of my job is breaking these guys down and convincing them that I'm worth listening to. Uh, but for today, <laughs> Mike Judd, point guard out of Lebanon, Oregon, that's nice. Uh, he's the first one to uh, give us a response and we've only got our first little piece of information. We're already out of time. Uh, so we got a little bit of information on his uh, single parent home uh, who went to University of Maryland. Uh, I have been there. Uh, I'll kind of give you a go Terps. So go Terps. That was a long time ago, though. That was let's see, 18 years ago when I visited. University of Maryland. You have new mail. All right. Uh, I totally just missed a step before I skipped to the next week. Not a good thing. Uh, but I shouldn't get punished by it for long, as we'll have enough time as long as I don't do that again on the next week. Uh, why don't we go and do what I just skipped? Uh, there we go. And we will uh, watch film on these first 10 guys because I have absolutely nothing to go off of on any of them. No, I thought I bought the uh, West package. If I bought the West package, I should have some information on these guys. I guess that's what the GPA and stuff is. Is that my basic package? doesn't come with attributes, but it does come... Yes. Yes. Okay, I think that's what it is. Gosh, it feels like it's been a while. Maybe because it has. I didn't do any recruiting last year. Uh, a couple years back, I didn't have any recruiting. Uh, I haven't had to do much recruitment the last three seasons. Uh, just that season in between where we went full after like four or five players. That was a great class, by the way, so... Uh, all right, now that I've done that missing piece, we're going to make calls again. Now these guys have all heard from me before, so they are more likely to respond. But those ones at the top that are, that know they're really good, 
there's times where I'll just call those guys 50 times and they'll never respond. And I'm still inside the top 23. I just got outside of the top 23. Uh, okay, this is the one we did get a hold of last time. We got just the parent info. Okay, academics is okay. That could help. That's certainly one of our strong suits. And summer camps are getting started. You have new mail. You have you have new mail. And there we you go. have new mail. That's the end of that week. Let's go ahead and see where we're at on that. By the way, uh, Las Vegas Review. This is the West Coast one. So these guys from my list were all at it. This is going to give me a nice boost uh, in in recruiting information. As I will know information about the top 10, but you can also see I've now got information on every player I had listed. Wow. Well, that was nice. They were all at the camp. <laughs> every one of them was at the camp. And look at all those players that at least initial evaluation is an A. And a few of these guys, after I was there, now have some interest in me. Four or five players? Uh, okay, so on with the watch list. Uh, the first ten I took a look at on film-wise, so let's recount. Three, six, London is eight, Petaway is ten, so Bodawan, uh, watch film, go oh, Robinson. There's and then uh, I'm gonna use my other three scholarships that I have next week uh, by starting to get a look at the, those top players and try to offer and entice them. Uh, this player is from Oregon, a point guard which I desperately need, and A's, lots of A's scoring passing and handling which is of course excellent for point guard and defending and he's a little bit lower down at 110 uh, this right now is one of my favorite targets at the moment uh, especially being that he's from Oregon uh, so we're actually gonna go a little bit further and we're gonna go scout him live uh, I'm not gonna offer just yet because I haven't compared him to anyone else but uh, just from that initial glance, this guy could be uh, my top target. And he's also the last one uh, that we are going to have scouted personally, besides the camp. Okay, on to the calls. We're going to keep trying to break these guys down. In fact, there you go, we just broke down Miles number one recruit in the country who is probably not interested in us at all but now I will be able to know if it's a possibility academics doesn't care in the slightest school prestige very important playtime very important uh, location matters we're in the state next door it's essentially pipeline conference prestige facilities uh, I've got no chance with this guy uh, academics is honestly my best recruiting shout with him. Santa Clara, so I don't even have an advantage there. Parents have no influence anyway, or at least as far as we know. Uh, I probably actually don't have that information just yet. Uh, this kid's not going anywhere. We are not going to recruit him. I'm not going to waste my time anymore. Go ahead and remove them from the list. But it was worth checking. Number one recruit the nation. You don't just say, ha ha, I'm not going to get him. Take your chance. But yeah, that was, that was my chance there. And that was resounding, we're not going to get him. Uh, and I didn't take that much time off of our recruiting You efforts. have new mail. You have new mail. Okay, there's the end of that week. Uh, 
actually shouldn't bother with that for a little while as there's no point. Uh, what I do need to keep on though, keep an eye on though, is what period we get into. Okay, we're already on the watch list, so we just left off with uh, Buse. So on to uh, Antoine Miles. I remember from back when we first were setting up. I couldn't figure out which one was the right A. There's Art Roads. There's a few Oregon guys in there, and now we're down to Webb. Next time we should be able to get through the last of the list. And now we can also get an idea on best players. Uh, defense. Hillier. Strong athletically. Great defensively. Great rebounding. Uh, he certainly can score. And he's the number seven recruit in the country and the number one power forward. So we are going to be offering him a scholarship. There you go. There's one for now. Let's go ahead and call him. He's the second one to call, but uh, Come back to that list and see where we're at on others. I've got two small forwards right here uh, in and around the top 15. So comparing them. Better defender. And wow, look at that. Wow, he's a B overall. He is an A and everything. So yeah, Robinson, number four recruit in the country. Probably not going to get anywhere. Uh, but again, as soon as we do break him down, we'll see if we have any shot whatsoever on getting him. Uh, trying to think how high I've gotten. 21? Have I cracked the top 20 yet? I don't think so, but I've certainly gotten into the top 20, uh, top 30 on recruits at least. I know I've had a number 26 recruit in the past. I uh, could actually check that here in info, but uh, we'll save that for now. All right, so there's two scholarship offers out, a small forward, power forward, we need a point guard, of course, and here is that comparison. Defense is an A. Scoring is an A. Passing is an A. Handling's a B. That's not perfect. But he is the number 14 recruit. Uh, here is Judd. Judd is this kid from Oregon. His defense is only a B. London, not a great score, not great offensively, but really good defensively. From Idaho, and where is our guy? One something Bues, right? Actually, not perfect. He's a C now from what we saw. Okay, so that puts us back on top to uh, what Baxter, best defender at the position, highest ranked at the position. So we will try Baxter. Okay, that is now everything but a shooting guard. See, here's our first glance. Great GPA. Kid out of Nevada. 6'4. Really good scorer, which of course you want that in a shooting guard. It's okay on defense. But there's not another shooting guard in the top 100. There's not a, another shooting guard in the top. Oh, 193. There you go. <laughs> So the next highest ranked one, and he's just a B. So for that, Petaway may not be a perfect recruit, but he's the best option we've got, so we will give him a shot at number 34 ranked overall. And there you go. There's the first four scholarships already out on offer.
Okay, let's go ahead and make calls to who I can. Nice, we got through to Young. We don't have a scholarship offer to him, but now we know what we need to know about him. School prestige, conference prestige, very high on his list, which means we have little chance with this guy. Location, academics, Shoshone, Idaho. It is next door. Facilities, we're okay. This guy's going to be difficult to try to recruit. I should just take him off the list. Great GPA though. You'd think he'd care about academics a little more. I'm going to leave him on the list for now. I won't rule him out yet. Oh, nice. We got through to Baxter as well, but we are out of time, so I'm not going to get anything more, but at least uh, he's unlocked. We've got basic interest now on quite a few players. You have new mail. By the way, I still have that international player. I got to keep an eye on, uh, check in on him from time to time. Let's go ahead and continue with calls since we're already on this piece. Nice, we got through to Hillier. Most of the top players coming around. School Prestige, ouch. Number one, most important for him. That means we're probably out, but let's see what the others say. Uh, we got everything on Young. Okay, almost done with Baxter. Out of time on calls, though. Oh, where did I leave off? Forgot to track who was the last one. Uh, I know we did Buse, so that's three. Six was Johnson. Webb was ten. So I think that's where we left off. Yeah, it is. Last two guys are both from Oregon. Alright. Uh, I'm going to save one of these. And we're going to scout both of you guys live. Uh, and that one that I'm saving... Now see, this shouldn't matter regionally. Do we have our international guy? on the list. No. No, we do not. So do I have to get off of here? Get to here to see you? Apparently so. Uh, go ahead and watch film on this guy as we still have no information on him. Wow, look at that. Hosting him, scouting him is crazy expensive. Watching films normal though. Kind of just testing the waters on this. And that's one thing about international players. They don't get recruited by very many schools. Oop, can't even be on here because I can't see. There we go. Just switch back to national. All right, well that's our actions on here. Uh, I do have one more Scout Live. Let's go ahead and use that for Judd. Uh, the Oregon guys again are the cheapest so they're gonna get the most looks. Already made our calls. So moving on. You have new mail. You have new mail. There we go. Okay, now we've made it all the way through our list. Now we can do our first round of eliminations. Let's start with scoring. Anybody? There's just a few that are pretty bad at scoring. 
but C is not terrible. It would help though if their defense was a bit better. Uh, okay, I don't necessarily need to eliminate anyone that way. Uh, looking at defense now, there are three that are pretty poor defense and just okay at offense. They all have good GPA. But that might not be enough to overcome. Uh, these two guys are at C's, and this one, terrible rebounder, terrible inside shooting, not a great ball handler for a point guard. So Rhodes is going to be gone. So you're off the list, Rhodes. And what about Cox? He's a C overall. Could score inside, which is important as a power forward, but not very good defense. While he can rebound, that's about all he can do. He can rebound and score inside. Uh, I need better than that. I can get better than that. Let's get him off the list. Now the third one who was not good at D, Antoine Miles. Oh, that would be both of our A's. <laughs> Miles and Rhodes, the two guys. I had that little thing with there. Uh, he's tolerable on offense, just not at free throws. And he's tolerable on defense. Pretty average, number 124. Uh, how many power forwards do I have? He's all the way down here. There's quite a few guys on the list ahead of him. And he's one of the shortest. Average, actually one of the bigger players. But despite that, he's not a standout at all. Uh, worst scoring average. Worst rebounding. Yeah, we're going to let this guy go. And that'll take care of the, the poor defenders. Let's get back to everyone listed. And there's our first round of eliminations. I don't do as much as I used to uh, in that department as I'm recruiting a lot higher tier of player than I used to in the past. So, a lot of calls. Yes, we have call time available. We are through to Robinson, so... We have not only made ground, but we've gotten everything. So what do we have? School prestige, playing time, academics are low, locations high, but it's California. If that was Oregon, it would matter. Conference prestige is high. I've got no way to recruit this guy. Facilities, academics are really all I have and location to go off of. Uh, so this guy is not happening. Let's get him off the list. That's going to open up small forward. It's another one that's not looking good, but let's go ahead and take the time now that we broke through. And how it's this conference prestige again. All right, so these are those players that are just out of my league so far, so we just opened up both forward spots. Uh, I was leaving this one on for now because academics facilities are just high enough, location just high enough next door that I could try. We'll try Michael Young. So we're down to just power forward now that's out. Baxter, we're nearly done with on the info. Just location, good. little more to go off of here. Academics is a, a no-go. That does hurt. Uh, but location facilities could potentially pan out for us. All 
Alright, looks like the assistant coach actually had a breakthrough here with Harrion. Alright, it's power forward that I lost, so it's power forward that I need. Yeah, there you go. Updated list, here's Robinson is the highest. He is an A, offense and defense. So we will go to him next. We haven't broken through yet, but we have not called him too many times. Did I use this yet? No, I have not. Uh, we are back to the top of the list. We're going to get a second time in watching film on these guys. Start getting updates. So, Reuter. By the way, our budget is just fine at this point, so we will be able to spend some money. Uh, Got to keep an eye on that. What type of period we're in, because there will be visits soon. Okay, we left off with Reuter, so Robinson. with Gilbert. Alright, we've already got everything on Young and Baxter. Not Harry. Harry and how we look at school perceived location. California. He doesn't care about conference prestige as much, uh, but location facilities is all I have going for me here. I could try with Harry. Oh, uh, we do have new rankings out, by the way. The first new rankings. Still looking good on most of these players. It's a lot of talent available. It's just what, if any of that, can I get my hands on? All right, we've got everything we need on Young, on Baxter, on Harrion, Robinson. We're through. Location, California facilities, academics are okay. That's a player we've got a chance at. Okay, London, we're partway through. Okay, now he's done. Pet away, partway through. Don't have the parent info yet, so that was assistant manager helping out. Recruiting a little bit better these days. It's everybody at the top now. Uh, we left off here with Gilbert. Still quiet period. Ooh. Where'd he go? There's Gilbert. Okay, Neil. Hey, 
Hey, if we could recruit Young and Neil, we could have a Neil Young on this squad. Alright, still a quiet period for this week. And we just left off with Neil. to take a look at Watson. Okay, we'll watch film. Ooh, we've already got interest. He does care a bit about school prestige. Let's, you know, while we're here, let's see. Or just hang up on me. Good job. Thanks, kid. Thanks. You ruin it, ruining it for every international player for years to come. Um, let's see, host recruits. Oh no, scout life. It's a quiet period. Can't. And there's not enough interested in anyone yet. Uh, haven't cracked anyone's top ten as far as I know. No natural ascendancy. No, none. Ouch. All right, we've got everything on Young. Okay, pet away, we still need parent info. Okay, how's he looking? Location, playing time, school prestige, conference prestige. Uh, Nevada's not going to help on that look. This is not a player that we're going to be able to recruit. <laughs> That's somebody I had a scholarship offer in. Great. Um, I'm going to try to host him. This will be the last chance. Oh, okay, it worked. Uh, he accepted. So we'll, we'll host him this week and see how he responds. If... If it goes well, and if uh, we crack his top 10, we'll keep him on. If not, uh, I'll eliminate him from contention this week. Okay, Judd, local, location. Looking good on this guy, and he is an A, so uh, we could be moving on to Judd pretty soon. Looks like the assistant coach got a little bit of work done, got the prestige out of him, and got a little basic interest going. And we got most of the way through him this time. Get film that I could watch on four more, but that's uh, because we're getting the last of the list this time out. Uh, so I will be doing that comparison, uh, and I'll be continuing my recruiting efforts off camera uh, as I'm out of time on this one. Uh, however, if you're watching this day of launch, look again tomorrow on our normal day and time as there will be another episode of Draft Day College Basketball. So this is uh, episode 57. Tune in tomorrow for episode 58, and that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe, and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.